If you compare all the currencies of all the countries, the Kuwaiti dinar is stacked right at the top at a price of 3.3 US dollars for each dinar, making it one of the most valuable currencies. Some say Bitcoin is even more valuable, priced at 6,700 US dollars for each Bitcoin. Is this real? Let's find out the story behind the Bitcoin prices. Welcome to another episode of Coin Locker. Bitcoin was created in 2009 by an anonymous person who called himself Satoshi Nakamoto. Till date, nobody has seen this mystery man. But we have read his brilliant white paper on the subject. His genius will become apparent to you as you read the white paper. Just nine years later, the current value of Bitcoin is greater than the value of most banknotes and coins in most countries. Today, I'll give you a quick tour of Bitcoin prices that will make you sit up and wonder. In this video, let's look at the rise of Bitcoin, the fall of Bitcoin, and also some truth about the value of Bitcoin. Next time you're on Google, search for the term 1BTC to USD. Apart from showing the current exchange rate, Google will also show you a tiny graph. This is the historical graph of Bitcoin prices against the US dollar. Let's look at a closer look at this graph. Bitcoin started trading in 2009, and if you take a trip down memory lane, Last year, around the month of May 2017, when Bitcoin prices were around 2000 USD, if you had invested $1 in Bitcoins, today it would be worth $3. In April 2014, when Bitcoin was around $340, if you had invested $1 in Bitcoins, today it would be worth $20. In July 2010, when Bitcoin was $0.08, cents, if you had invested $1 in Bitcoins, today it would be worth $83,700. This astronomical rise in Bitcoin prices is driving many people to invest in Bitcoins. However, it's not a one-way street and there have been many, many drops in Bitcoin prices. So let's look at the graph again and focus not only on the peaks, but the valleys. Last year, on the 15th of December 2017, Bitcoin reached 17,900 US dollars and by 22nd December 2017, it fell sharply to 13,800 dollars. Bitcoin fell by 30% in 24 hours. The fall continued and by 5th February 2018, Bitcoin prices dropped by another 50% in 16 days, falling below $7,000. Between April 2013 and June 2013, Bitcoin fell by 62%. The most shocking fall was in 2011. Bitcoin was at $31 in July 2011 and by December 2011, it fell to $2. This was a staggering 93% fall. So don't go sell your car, motorcycle, or your life savings to invest in Bitcoins. Bitcoin is by far the most risky investment you will ever make. Invest only what you can afford to lose. That may be just one or 2% of your net worth. People who have invested during peak times have suffered huge losses. Bitcoins are often mistaken to stocks and shares. Shares are directly linked to a company that produces goods or services. Let's say you own shares of a company like Apple. When Apple is planning a revolutionary new iPhone model, the Apple share prices will go up. And if the company makes losses, then the share prices will fall. Bitcoin is nothing like this. There is no Bitcoin company. There is no Bitcoin product or service. The price of Bitcoin is purely based on supply and demand. The good thing is that there's a limited amount of Bitcoins in circulation. As of today, there are 17 million Bitcoins in circulation. There are two ways to acquire them. You either buy them from someone or you run heavy computers and earn them. Earning them is out of the question for most common people. So they're left with the option of buying them from someone who already owns it. And let's say someone owns Bitcoins and there are many people wanting to buy them. The seller obviously will increase his price and sell them to the highest bidder. Alternately, if there are few or no buyers, the seller will drop his price and accept any price offered by the buyer. As crazy as it may sound, Bitcoin has no intrinsic value and they're not backed by gold or silver. However, the limited supply is the basis for the soaring Bitcoin prices. Apart from these factors, the value of Bitcoin is also influenced by government policies, meaning some countries are more open to Bitcoins than others. Many countries also want to regulate Bitcoins, which is also affecting the price. Influence of media and public speculation is also a cause for pr price fluctuation. As of 2018, it's roughly estimated that around 28 million people in the world own Bitcoins. That's a minuscule 0.3%. And 
as more people join the bandwagon and if the Bitcoin technology holds up, the prices might go up. A recap of this video, we talked about the rise of Bitcoin, the fall of Bitcoin and some truth about the value of Bitcoins. The story of Bitcoin is exciting, but there are many risks. Please do thorough research before investing. And if you want to know more about cryptocurrency and its security, do subscribe to my channel and I'll keep posting more videos. So let me leave you with this question today. Do you think Bitcoin is a tech bubble or is it a phenomenon that is here to stay? Do leave your answers in the comment section below and I'd love to hear from you. If you found this video interesting, please comment, like and share.